My GF led me to believe I got her pregnant but I found it wasn't mine after the birth. I, 28M, have been with my GF, 25F, for just about two years. The relationship was good and then she tells me she's pregnant. For the most part, I'm careful and she said she was on birth control. I was skeptical but went to an appointment. I then figured it was just one of those things. I always wanted a family so even though this was not how I wanted to begin, I was overjoyed. We're past the first trimester and I have her move in at her insistence. Insert red flag I missed, we're planning what we will do work-wise and how to set up the baby's room. She is pretty insistent she will go back to work but be able to stay home. She swears she can make it work. I go to every appointment with her. Things are still good. We're in the third trimester and I make my schedule work to still go to every appointment. Up until this point, I had been at each appointment in its entirety. This one appointment, she's asks me to wait so she can talk to the doctor first. I'm super concerned that something is wrong with the baby and she didn't want me to hear. I go in and the checkup is done. Everything looks good. My GF brushes off my concern over why I couldn't be there for all of it. Another red flag. We're about a month and a half from the due date and I notice her being kind of secretive with phone calls and texts. She tells me it's work and it's confidential etc. My antenna is now up so I try to get looks at her phone. She's got Snapchat and Kick. I find it strange but don't confront her. The baby is born and I'm overwhelmed with emotion. The child is perfect and things went fine. Then comes the part where they want me to go on the birth certificate. My GF becomes really insistent about it. She's constantly asking me to do it and seems way more anxious I've ever seen her. Here's the red flag I didn't miss. I don't do it. We have an argument but she stops pushing. I think it's because she knows how suspect it looks already. We're home and she has to go tend to the baby after it woke up. I notice she set her phone down to go to the baby. I couldn't help it and looked. It was still unlocked. I start looking for texts or calls. I then find a whole conversation on kick with a guy. All the updates of her appointments. Pictures of her and the baby. Then I see it. The place she says she thinks it's his child. I confront her and she apologizes. She admits the baby could be mine or someone else, but she thinks it's mine. I demand a paternity test and leave. It's been about a week since the confrontation. The results came in yesterday and the baby isn't mine. She's gone to live with her mother. Here's the best part. It took me a lot of digging seeing as all I had were usernames she talked to him to. The father is her boss. The secrecy was for him. The boss with a wife and four kids in middle and high school. I found the wife on Facebook and sent her all I had including texts from my GF saying it's his. I'm heartbroken so many ways. I'm lucky in a lot of ways here but I'm so hurt. This has completely changed my whole outlook. I'm bitter, angry, and untrusting. I have no idea how to recover from this. Aftermath of me discovering my GF's baby wasn't mine. I've still not spoken to her. I can't bring myself to. I'm conflicted because I still bonded with that baby. Yet I am not the father. That is painful. She still tries to contact me. I don't know if it's love. I won't talk to her. On to the guy who is the father. I told his wife. She didn't respond immediately. I found out through my ex that he lost his job. There's some justice in the world. He won't have anything to do with my ex. He blames her for the mess he's currently in. His wife contacted me over a week later. 
she apologized for what I went through. She was still in shock I guess. She kicked him out. I have no idea where he went. Their kids know. Everyone knows. My ex still works there but is in the process to find a new job seeing as literally everyone knows what happened now. I'm still in shock some and still heartbroken. This holiday will be tough and sad for me. I know there's hope. I know it will get better. This shook me to my core and I don't know how long it'll take. I'm ready to swear off any relationship ever again. Assuming she took all her stuff with her when she moved back to her parents' home, there is no good reason to talk to her anymore. You will do yourself a big favor if you work out what is going on in your head with a therapist. In the meantime, you are obviously a great guy. You rescheduled your whole life around your ex's prenatal appointments, you work hard at your job, and you were smart enough to catch that last red flag before you signed any birth certificate. You are also plenty young enough to start all over from scratch, have a long-lasting and satisfying relationship, and even have your own kids. Feel your feelings now, resolve everything as best as you can, and when you're not really looking, something will come your way. Story 2 Been married 18 months, together for 6 years, and I, 28M, think my wife, 27F, is emotionally cheating on me and not actually willing to work on the relationship issues we've been struggling with. So things have been pretty rocky between my wife and I for several months. We had a rough 2020, didn't most of us, but I thought it was more due to the stress of my job, than COVID-19, then she lost her job and my job started getting worse as I felt a stressful anxiety to perform even better as the only income earner at the time. Then she started a new job and we sort of drifted apart. Early this year we had a talk about this where I expressed my sadness that we are so distant and haven't connected in a long time. We haven't been physically intimate in nearly all this time tier. In early April I commenced individual therapy and it has really helped me process my thoughts and feelings and I've been actively trying to share those with my wife and be confident in being vulnerable and honest and genuine. She told me, however, that she feels like she is smothered and overwhelmed and needs space which I've tried to respect and give to her. Through all of this, though, she's indicated that she does want to work on improving things with me and getting to a place where we can both be happy. So I've had hope that if I keep trying and putting in effort, things will move toward a better place. It hasn't. I don't know if anything I'm doing is helping or hurting. Giving space, trying to be more supportive of her, not trying to be controlling or restrictive, she still seems so far away. I find myself holding back things if normally be excited to tell her about because she gives off a vibe that I annoy and distract and bother her. I brought this up to her and how I felt like she's not putting in much effort from my point of view and that I don't think there's a way to improve our relationship without actually spending time together talking about it and addressing it. She indicated that she had been trying and putting in effort for the past year and felt like I was the one who wasn't doing anything and now she's kinda burned out. I apologized and said I can't change what I did or did not do in the past, but I'm ready and willing and trying hard to fix things now, but I need her help too. She didn't have much to say to that. And because of the distance between us, I've started to notice how close she has gotten with a co-worker of hers. A single guy, about my age. They see each other every day, go out to lunch almost every day, sometimes just the two of them, sometimes with others. My wife frequently stays late at work and, though not confirmed to me, I'm pretty sure he's always there too. They go out for drinks with co-workers and have attended soccer games together, just the two of them, and then gone out to bars and I know they've gone over to his place till after midnight as well. This all makes me feel super uneasy and hurt. My wife doesn't do any of this with me. In fact it seems like a chore to her to have to spend time with me. But she willingly and gleefully seems to adore being around this guy, I'll call him Mark for ease of reference. This has been happening since like early March at least. I didn't bring anything up then because... She even mentioned to me that she didn't want to make me sad by hanging out with Mark, but that he's a good guy and had never tried anything. 
Things were starting to get rocky between me and her and I wasn't confident enough to assert myself. I didn't want to feel like the jealous boyfriend type and tell her she can't be friends with a guy. Well, as things have deteriorated between us and I've observed her talking to him and spending what seems like most of her time with him, it's been hurting me more and more. I told her last week that they are making me uncomfortable. She asked, well, what do you want me to do about it? And I felt very strongly that she should be the one to decide what she wants to do with the information I give to her about my feelings on her closeness with Mark. She never suggested anything, just said that I can put my mind at ease about that and it kinda tapered off into her accusing me of not trusting her. I told her that I do trust her to jot do anything physical with him but that I do not trust Mark because I don't know him. She seemed taken aback by that. After I told my wife that I was uncomfortable with her and Mark being together so much and their friendship or whatever it is, I felt very strongly that I shouldn't tell her what to do or anything. I didn't want her to feel controlled by me, but she also didn't propose anything to resolve this herself. The next few days I did notice she was at home more often and didn't go out for her usual drinks and happy hour with co-workers, which usually resulted in her spending extra time afterwards with Mark. I could tell she was sad and really down and I ended up telling her that I want her to be happy and do what makes her happy and I worry that she basically took that to mean that she should continue doing whatever she's doing with Mark regardless of my feelings. I've spoken with my therapist about my feelings on this and what I'm wary about and what is giving me pause and anxiety about my wife's friendship with her co-worker. I told my therapist about how it makes me uncomfortable that my wife and Mark see each other all the time. That she chooses actively to spend more time with Mark than me. That she seems to constantly be texting him. That I've seen her sitting on the other couch near me, texting him long threads or continually chatting when I am lucky when she sends me three texts during the day. That she has on several occasions gone out drinking with him and then went over to his place and didn't get home until around 2 a.m. when he drove her home. That just last weekend she brought her dog over while she went out with some girlfriends and had Mark dog sit while I was out of town and didn't even tell me about that until after the fact. That she seems to be happier when she comes back from hanging out with him or when she's talking him. That reminds me of how she seemed and acted when we were first dating and getting to know each other and that crushes me. I just have really weird gut feelings about the whole thing. From my perspective which is the only one I have since she won't talk to me about this I feel like lines have been crossed that should not be in a marriage. In fairness to her, maybe she doesn't think any boundaries have been broken. Or maybe she is towing the line and it's only a matter of time until stuff gets physical. I told my therapist that it hurt me when I explicitly told my wife last Sunday that her closeness with him is making me uncomfortable and uneasy she immediately responded with well we are just friends, so you can put your mind at ease about that. And then immediately shifted the conversation to well what do you want me to do about it? He's one of the few things that have brought me happiness and support lately which absolutely crushed me. It doesn't feel to me like they are just friends and I can't shake the weird feeling. And it makes me feel so bad and guilty to feel like this, because I want to give her the benefit of the doubt and not assume the worst, but also I feel like my feelings are valid and deserve to be respected too. Anyway, after I told her that I want her to be happy and do what makes her happy, this past Saturday night she went to a co-worker's wedding with a big group. This has been planned for a while, it was a small wedding, and I didn't go. Mark was there. They all got super drunk together and then a DD brought her home at 1am and she was absolutely wasted and while I was helping get her into bed and making sure she'd be okay, she just kept repeating over and over how's Mark? Is Mark okay? Did Mark get home? And I said I'm sure he's fine. I don't have his number, you can find out tomorrow. Then she goes, I know his number, and started saying my number. That hurt. Then she kept asking about how he was doing and if he was okay until she fell asleep. Now, a couple days out of that moment and still processing it, I feel even more like she's totally lost feelings and attraction for me and that she's not just friends with this guy but is more emotionally invested in him than she's willing to let on or maybe even admit to herself. 
It's really hurting me and I can't get it out of my head and my mind keeps wandering and assuming things and I really want to have a real honest conversation about this with her but I'm nervous that. It's going to come out as accusatory and interrogative on my part and make her super defensive and dismissive from the get-go, and... I get all hung up that I already shut the door on this issue and shouldn't rehash it with her because I already brought up that I'm uncomfortable with their dynamic and then a few days later told her I just want her to be happy and do what makes her happy. I'm constantly hurting. There's a pit in my stomach. I don't have an appetite. I'm not sleeping. I'm losing weight. I can't focus or concentrate. I worry all the time about if she's flirting with him or texting him sexual stuff or hugging him or if they cuddle when they're together all things she doesn't do with me. I get angry because he's a single dude who also actively chooses to spend all his time with a married woman what's in it for him. And then I feel guilty about feeling all this stuff. Anyway. I'd love some advice. I just want this hurt to stop. I want her to be honest with me. If she's done with us, then tell me. If she would rather be with him, then tell me. If she's emotionally cheating, I want her to know that, own it, and understand how it's hurting me. How can I broach this subject with her? Should I? How can I get some answers and definition about the dynamic between her and Mark but not in an accustory slash interrogative way? Is she emotionally cheating on me? How should I confront this? My therapist didn't really have suggestions for me beyond yes you should have this conversation and you should firmly know going into what your boundaries for a married relationship, even one that's rocky, are and what is and is not okay for your partner to do. I've confided in several close friends and my sister about the details I shared here and every single one of them thought it was fucked up, even for my wife to be doing in a marriage where everything was okay. That makes me feel a bit more validated, but I still don't know the best way to go about initiating this conversation and having it be an open and honest discussion where my thoughts and feelings can be heard and where she doesn't immediately feel defensive and defective. Update. This goes against what many people here have said about me not engaging with her. She could tell something was up with me and kept asking what was going on and what's bothering me. I finally broke and talked to her. I mentioned my specific concerns and told her that what's been happening is not okay and that it feels like lines and boundaries are being crossed. She seemed unfazed. She seemed offended that I would even think that something inappropriate was going on. She denied that they have been physical together. She said I've only been out till 2 a.m. with him twice. Yeah, well that's too too many times for me, I said. She seemed to refuse to even attempt to see it from my point of view. Or an outside perspective. It's telling to me that so many other people could recognize that maybe even texting a co-worker so much and worrying about his well-being after the drinking was crossing a line. My wife seems to refuse to believe that she's crossing lines. She refused to acknowledge that maybe what she's doing is wrong or actually hurtful. He's like my best friend right now. Yeah, well why can't I be that? I'm your husband. I know things are rocky and weird with us right now, but I'm trying to work on things and I can't help but feel there's stuff you're not telling me. All I want is for her to accept some responsibility and remorse. She kept saying what do you want me to do? She kept pointing out that they really haven't been together too much or stayed out late more than twice. Ugh it just feels like we got nowhere. When I spoke with her and told her how hurt and uncomfortable her behavior with Mark is making me, she seemed unfazed. Her first reaction, rather than being sorry or concerned that I'm being hurt, was to say well what do you want me to do about it? I shouldn't have to walk her through this. She's a very intelligent person, she should be able to see that maybe there's even just a slight chance that what she's doing would look bad to anyone looking from the outside in? She's blinded by whatever she's feeling and doing. She kept deflecting. I told her it made me uncomfortable that she was out till 2 a.m. drunk with him, that it was weird. She said well that's only happened twice. 
She noted that they've only been to three soccer game dates together. That doesn't matter to me. The amount of times doesn't matter. What matters is that now she knows how it is hurting me and that I told her I am not going to put up with it anymore. She should proceed accordingly. I told her that I want to be happy and I want to be with someone who makes me happy. I said I want her to be with someone she wants to be with also, and I don't want either of us to have to feel forced or like every day we have to try to conjure up feelings for the other person. She told me she loves me and wants to be with me. It felt hollow. I told her she seems completely emotionally invested in him and that there's no more room for me. I told her I feel like a roommate who sits around while she dates Mark. She kept saying we're just friends and I'm not even with him all that much. She denied any physical intimacy between them. She said that other co-workers have asked her if anything is going on between her and Mark. I asked her what does is anything going on mean to her? She couldn't spell it out. I told her that I find it incredibly hard to believe that Mark a single guy my age has anything to gain from being just friends with a married woman. I told her that no matter how good of a guy she thinks he is, he has certainly had the thought crossed his mind of him, what if? She denied that they talk about their feelings for each other. I don't believe it. I told her that if he knows about our marriage issues, then it makes it even more suspicious that he continues to hang around. It's like he's just waiting for the off chance we do break up so he can have her with no strings. I can't shake the feeling that she's lying to me. Something more has to be going on and she is trickle-truthing me. I feel gaslit, I feel crazy that I'm feeling so bothered and anxious by all this. I wish she'd show some fucking remorse or own up to it. I told her how I sat on telling her my true feelings about this for so long because I was being too considerate of her feelings and neglecting my own but that I needed to protect myself going forward. I told her we need to tell each other the hard stuff that might hurt the other person and be ready to do so. I mentioned that I want to be open and honest and vulnerable with her and would expect the same from her. Even if she thinks it'll hurt me or I can't handle it, I want her to tell me. I am not going to talk to her about this again. There's no point. She seems unwilling to accept that she's in the wrong here and very plainly hurting a person she claims to love. I know I'm being naive and stupid and will get tons of comments telling me similarly, but I am struggling so hard to get my head and heart around the idea of snooping into her phone. Honestly, I've been curious. But despite the heartbreak she's causing me, it's really hard for me to pull the trigger on that. And even if I did, and even if I found something damning, I think I'd have an even more difficult time figuring out how to best confront her with that information. I feel so down on myself that I feel this way. That I feel so stuck. That I've let myself get to this position. I can't stop thinking where I screwed up along the way, what's wrong with me, what can I change, how can I change, why is this happening, I am so tired of all of this. Update 2, we talked. She confessed that she's in love with someone else. I told her it's over. Hardest thing I've ever done. I told her I know about her and Mark. I told her that I don't want to do this anymore and that I want her to be happy and do what makes her happy, but if that includes being with Mark, then I don't want to continue to be together. I told her we should go our separate ways. I told her I don't want to be in a marriage with a woman who isn't in love with me and isn't happy with me. She cried and cried and confessed that she and Mark do have feelings for each other but she is adamant that it's progressed to nothing physical. I told her that regardless, I don't feel that we can continue how things are and that we should separate. I threw out the D-word several times and she got super upset and emotional, saying that I'd already made up my mind without her and wasn't even discussing it. I told her that she had made up her mind to pursue those feelings with Mark and did nothing to stop it back then. That put her on edge too, she told me I was being mean and not understanding. I told her that I can understand her losing feelings for me and falling in love with someone else, but that I don't have to accept an EA and I wasn't going to put up with this anymore. 
Then she started begging, crying, saying that it seems like a rash, drastic decision to divorce and that we should try just an actual separating first. I said, I don't know what that will do for us. You'll just go off with Mark, right? She didn't really answer. She maintained that she doesn't want to jump straight to divorce, I maintained that I see no other option at this point. Even marriage counseling in my view wouldn't work. Because of work obligations, I can't just leave. But I booked a flight to go stay with my family this weekend. I cannot describe the immense relief I felt when I told her we should proceed to get divorced. The other good feeling I had was basically realizing that she's made a choice. She's picking him. By not outright saying she'll cut things off completely with him, she's made a choice. I don't want to be with someone who won't choose me. Edit, for everyone concerned about the process of me moving forward with the divorce. Our finances are already separated and we have very little marital property under the law. The biggest dispute will be over our dog. I am in a no-fault divorce state and the 60-day separation requirement before the divorce can be finalized is already met as we have been living under the same roof without sexual cohabitation for over 60 days. I don't foresee this being too procedurally or financially difficult. Emotionally and mentally? For sure. As bad as this is, it kinda sounds like she wants space to explore if Mark is the better option before she commits to divorce. She wants to pause you and keep you as plan B. Story 3 I warned her. My ex, 29F, and I, 29M, met in college in 2013. I was 22 and she was 21, we became fast friends and eventually we developed feelings for each other. We became a couple a year later, it was a great relationship and I don't regret it. Fast forward to 2016, I was home when she called me saying she was outside and that we needed to talk. So I went outside and I saw that she was crying in her car. I went up to her and asked what's wrong. She confessed that she cheated on me, I don't want to go into details because I'm trying to keep this short, I was shocked, hurt, and was teared up. She went on saying that we needed to break up because I deserved better than her and that she developed feelings for AP. I warned her about rushing it with someone else and that a relationship that begins by cheating usually ends badly. After we finished talking, I walked back to my house but before I went in, I turned around to see her one more time and she was still crying. Once I went inside she posted on social media saying I wish I could just disappear with a crying emoji. I proceeded to remove her from social media after that. As I was mourning the end of my relationship, I also thought about how her new relationship will blow up in her face. Fast forward two years later, she messages me asking me to meet up because she wanted to talk. I knew the day had arrived. So I met her at a diner, I live in New Jersey, and she was miserable, she looked like she was crying before we met up. When she saw me she she gave a weak high and gave her a cold one. This surprised her and got teary-eyed. I started by asking her what she wanted to talk about. She started saying that her and AP broke up two weeks ago and admitted that the relationship with him was horrible. It turns out he was a narcissist who emotionally abused her. She also admitted that the guilt of what she did to me never went away and that I was right. She then noticed my emotionless expression and turned away saying you used to be so happy and silly. It hurts seeing you like this and I know it's my fault because of my bad, selfish, and dumb decisions. She went to say I'm sorry for everything, I thought about you every day for the past two years. She then said not only did I ruin us but I lost my best friend, you were my best friend and I ruined that. She started crying again saying I'm not here to get back together because I don't deserve that and I have no right to ask that. I proceeded to say that it's true that you don't deserve me. It gets quiet and she turned away again. She then I said that she missed me and that she missed me for two years, then she asked me to be friends again. I told her I can't promise anything. 
She starts crying for the final time and I left the diner, as I was walking out I turn over and she's still crying, how history repeats itself, in the end cheating ruins the cheater and the victim. Never cheat, it's usually never worth it. Edit, so because I got numerous requests I'm going to post what happened after I left the diner. Hi everyone, I have decided to do an update to my original post due to numerous requests. This will be my only update since there's nothing else to say afterwards. Before I go any further I have some things to clarify about my original post. 1. The AP was emotionally abusive, I know because my ex showed me her texts and it was full of no one will ever love you like me and you're ugly. Also he broke up with her by text. What a scumbag. 2. She did try reached out to me multiple times during the two years she was with AP, she asked how I was doing I'm sorry and are you okay. I ended up not responding. I didn't block her because I was waiting for when her relationship blew up. 3. Friends and family actually saw her during the two years and they all said the same thing. She looked miserable and when she saw them, she would run up to them and ask how I'm doing and to tell me that she will never stop being sorry. 4. The diner meeting happened in 2018. Now back to the story. After I got home from the diner she messaged me saying if we become friends again I'll work my butt off to earn back your trust and if not please know I'll always be sorry for everything. Fast forward a year later and I'd bumped into her at a while buying lunch. We caught up and I wasn't as cold as before. I will admit I'm a little embarrassed about I what I did next. I offered her a FWB with me and she accepted. The FWB lasted for a few months. When I look back, I think I did it for closure and to show her what she's missing. I ended it because I felt that I got my closure. She was disappointed but also understood. A few months later she started seeing someone new and they dated until early 2020 before the pandemic hit. She showed up to my home unannounced and revealed to me that the new guy cheated on her with multiple women and actually blamed her for the cheating. Just like the AP the new guy broke up with her by text, wow, she went on saying how much she hated herself for what she did to me, but now she understands how I felt. I gave her a hug and told her to take these lessons and never forgot them. She thanked me and left. Fast forward to now. I heard she's an IC and remains single by choice. I saw her mother recently and she informed me, as for me I'm single working on myself. I'm getting into shape and I'm working in psychology, guess what inspired me? It's truly astounding how cheaters can't foresee the consequences. You flat out warned her about relationships born from cheating, and lo and behold, AP was abusive. Shocker. I highly doubt she's genuinely remorseful. Selfish people like her don't feel any sort of guilt unless something happens to them, usually when they get a taste of their own medicine or when their lives end up miserably. Even when they try to crawl back into the lives of the one they betrayed, it's still rooted in their selfishness since they want to get back what they once had, not even considering how the betrayed ex feels or what they want. Opie, don't ever take this woman back under any circumstances or to any extent. 